So this is one of my favorite pieces from the Art and Embassies exhibition. It's a piece called Grand Finale by an artist named McLean Fahenstock. Uh, one of my, uh, had one foamy moment with this was of having Sweden's first astronaut, Christer Fuglsang, over. And um, I got to show him this. And he's actually flown in the US Space Shuttle. Space is kind of obviously a strength of the United States. Uh, and uh, definitely kind of a fun one since you have a kind of interactive piece here. Let me start by thanking you for um, uh, lending us um, your wonderful piece. Yeah, it's a real honor to have, uh, to have your art in, the, in this uh, exhibition. Thank you. I, um, I love that it's there. Um, I really enjoy that work, and I'm always excited when it gets to be shown in a new venue. Exploration is something that's kind of in my family's blood. Um, I come from a line of sailors and explorers. Nice. There's 135 different space shuttle feeds, right? Yes. And where did you get the feeds from? They're all from NASA. Oh, wow. Um, you can see how the cameras get better through the years, mm. um, but you can see how they all switch to kind of the same shots every time. Um, and it's because of the footage that was provided by NASA. No, it's, it's amazing to be able to highlight some uh, super talented uh, American artists like yourself, so. Here's another fun piece titled, The True Sign of Intelligence is Not Knowledge, But Imagination by Kim Luttrell. I also like this because it, scientific uh, cooperation between the U.S. and Sweden is such a priority of mine as ambassador. And this is, brings the U.S. and Sweden um, specifically together around Einstein's um, discoveries, given he, he lived in America and yet won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1921. Here's a piece that reminds me of my many years I spent in California called The Women in the Waves by Joni Sternbach. And let me start by thanking you for um, lending us your uh, beautiful piece here at the uh, embassy here in Stockholm. Well, it's really nice that the piece can travel, don't you think? Like from Los Angeles to Stockholm and like, I, I don't know how many people it gets to have view it, but it's like a great idea to have work that, you know, goes abroad and can create conversations. Can you tell us more about the tin, tin type? Uh, tin type process? Yeah. yeah. It is a process where you pour a, a liquid onto a surface, okay. and then you sensitize that surface um, once it's tacky in a bath of silver nitrate, and then you expose and develop and do all of your chemistry exactly where you're photographing. How long does it take to, to develop? It takes at least 15 minutes to make one picture from start to finish. <laughs> Fascinating, nice. Yeah. So, like the picture you have is done in three sections, so that's even more challenging to get everything to line up. I mm. uh, really appreciate you sitting down and telling us more about the piece and your, um, the, the process, and, um, uh, and again, for letting us borrow this piece here at the um, Embassy. Yeah, thank you so much, Ken. It's been a pleasure talking with you, and uh, yeah, I want to see a photograph of you surfing. Okay, <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> well, really nice chatting again. I hope you have a great week. You too. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Here's a piece from an American artist whose family has Swedish roots named Cynthia Anna Ennis. The piece is called Mojave, which as you probably know is the driest desert in the U.S., largely in California and Nevada. Here's a really entertaining interactive art piece called Boris on Blue Hills by Brian Bress. This um, astronaut basically is drawing for the audience, almost like a breaking the fourth wall. Um, he's on a, a approximately 30 minute loop. Here's a piece I really love called North Point Road Day by Sparky Campanella. It's one of 23 pieces he did in a series called Horizons. He's a really a drawn to both uh, nature and city landscapes. And this entire series has both elements of uh, nature, you see with the, the farmland and human-made features like you see in the road here. 